You all know the popular levels inside the back rooms, like level 0, level 1, level 2, and so on. These levels get a ton of foot traffic and exploration and documentation since they're pretty easy to access. But the level in today's video is one of the most unexplored and undocumented levels ever, and to be honest, I wish we would have never found it. That's how horrifying it can be. Hey y'all, it's Brugley, and in this video I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 899, or the Eternal Loop. Strap in your seatbelts, this one's going to be crazy, let's get into the video, shall we? So level 899 of the back rooms is classified as a class undetermined since its safety and stability is crumbling, according to the little graphic here. It's, it's crumbling, which just sounds like a ton of fun to me. The level apparently also has inconsistent time fluctuation as well, and it's just highly unadvised to enter level 899. Now, since it's a rather recent discovery, we really don't know much about it to ensure its safety, so... Take my word for it, let me do the explaining, don't go there. The level itself takes the appearance of a long, interconnected subway car system inside of an infinite underground tunnel. The entire level, inside the subway and out, is dark, except there are a few random light panels that can be seen. The level is also fully monochrome and has no color to it, which is very disorienting to people who get stuck here because everything is just dark and you can't really see. It's all grayscale. But the level doesn't just stop with everything there being grayscale. In fact, if you bring anything onto the level itself, that thing will also become grayscale, including clothes and food and anything else. Food you bring here will eventually fade into gray and become lifeless and tasteless and lose its color. And any color on your clothes will also do the same. But as I said, it doesn't just stop at items, it can affect living things as well, like you or entities. Because the longer you stay on this level, you know, walking through these subway carts or walking through the tunnel, the more your skin color will fade away until you ultimately become a gray colored humanoid thing. This effect will stay with you when you leave the level as well, and uh, as I'm making this video, there is no cure to stop your skin from turning gray. Cool. The length of these subway cars is assumed to be infinite, but that's mainly because no one has found an end or anything like that. And the tunnel that the subway cars are in is also assumed to be infinite. The tunnel itself is a giant architectural wonder, and it's completely straight and goes on in one direction forever. There are like no turns, no curves, no bends, no elevation changes. The entire thing is just flat and straight and is made out of concrete. The state of the subway cars is about the only thing that's different and that changes on the level as some of the cars look older and run down and some look new. On that same note, some of them are also newer models and some of them are also older models, which you'll see why that might happen later on in the video. But this effect is similar to the one on level 61, where the trains on that level are different models and different ages. But these changes in age and appearance have been attributed to those time warping effects that I hinted at earlier and that crumbling stability that I was talking about. Now I'll get into the time warping stuff in a second, but for now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the tunnel. So the tracks that the subway cars are on are made out of metal and concrete, but they show no signs of breaking or cracking, and they actually seem to be very durable, which isn't normal because normally concrete and stuff can crack pretty easily. However, no matter any of this stuff, it is not recommended to step off the subway, because if you do that, a few things will happen. The first thing is that your sanity will drain to really low critical levels. For some reason, being in a dark tunnel with these subway cars flying past you will make you go crazy. Who would have thought? Additionally, the second you step off the car onto the ground of the tunnel, your vision will blacken and you won't be able to see anything. And this will obviously send a rush of fear through you and it'll make you freak out because you can't see anything at all. The level's already dark and grayscale as it is, but losing your eyesight would make it that much worse. If you step off the path and subway here, you pretty much lose it. This eyesight losing effect is very similar to the one over on level 668 that I went over a couple months ago. Now on that level, if you step off of the path, you'll lose your eyesight. But in this level, if you step off of the subway, you will lose your eyesight. 
but I just think it's pretty interesting to see these kinds of parallels and similarities across the different backrooms levels. Maybe one day we'll find out how they do that, how the backrooms does it, but for now, it's just a random, random parallel. The air in the tunnel is also toxic, and it smells of decay and old metal, and just reeks of rot. And almost everything around you is just wet and just eerie when you're outside of the subway. But now I'm going to explain the 899 time warping effect, also known as the 899 event. So the 899 event is a time fluctuating anomaly that occurs randomly on this level. And as of right now, there is no way to predict when it's about to happen or why. But when it does happen, this is what it looks like. When the event begins, the gravity of the level inside and outside of the subway cars will start to weaken drastically, meaning that small random objects will start to hover and float and then will eventually drop repeatedly, floating and dropping. As well as this, the temperature in the level will go down drastically as well, from a stuffy heat to an uncomfortable cold. Now after a few seconds of this gravity and this temperature change, time itself will reverse rewinding all the action that just happened back before it happened. At this point, your vision will begin to blur as a wanderer, and the space around you will start to warp, making it hard to see and walk and stand, and the air will start to feel like water, and you'll begin to swirl and rotate, and you really just can't walk straight because the air itself is spinning, so you're spinning too. At this point, the ground seems to start shaking violently like an earthquake, and the tunnel that's outside of the subway will start to shift and crack. And unlike many other backrooms levels, this tunnel does not heal itself when it cracks. There's these massive rifts and cracks in the concrete tunnel itself that seem to build on each other each time a time warping event happens, leading most people to believe that the level is destined to collapse at any point in time in the near future. And it's because of this and all the other effects, like blindness and sanity dropping and time warping and all that, that it's not a good idea to come to this level. But if for some reason you did want to come here, you can enter it by finding a black or white subway car in any level, getting into it, and then you'll be sent here. And this will effectively trap you into the level until you find an exit. Now to exit, you have to travel from subway car to subway car until you eventually get in one that is full of plastic balls from like a ball pit. Once you see that, you have to jump into the pit and then you'll be sent to level 60. Now the problem with this is that it's very rare to find these ball pit cars, so you just have to keep going and going until you find it, no matter how many time warping effects you have to endure. If you want to get out, that is. You could just want to stay here forever, I guess. The article says there's no entities or life here at all, which might be true, since there's not one officially documented, but the level is brand new and has been newly discovered, so there is a theory that these weird effects and these weird time warping things and sanity loss and eyesight are all because of some kind of entity that lurks deep in the subway tunnel or follows the subway wherever it goes or something like that. We don't know if that's the case or not, but it definitely is a possibility. So yeah. Yeah. Level 899, the infinite subway tunnel and subway with strange mental effects and space-time anomalies where you lose your eyesight, your skin color, gravity stops, and time warps. Would you go here? Let me know in the comment section below if you would. I want to see which of you are crazy. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video. Make sure to check out the links below if you want to follow me on Twitter or Discord or check out my other two channels, Toogly and Spoogly, if you want to see more videos from me. If you want to support the channel, you can simply do that by leaving a like. It's free and it helps the algorithm overlords know that you all actually like me. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you lovely folks later.